What's up? Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. And today we're going to be editing a photo of Mr. Waffles. Now, this is the photo that I use to showcase the most recent no noise AI update that we received for On One Photo Raw 2024. And that's all great. What I want to do now is really just go through a quick edit on this image because I think that there's a lot of benefit to editing this photo, uh, especially because it's Mr. Waffles, my dog. I already uh, hit this with some Brilliance AI. I did that in the uh, previous video because I wanted to activate the no noise AI. And I am over here on the brilliant black and white presets that came in the summer bundle for being subscribed to the On One Everything Plus subscription. Now, if you want to do that, or if you just want to join the uh, membership site for On One, consider using my coupon code FreeWillPhotos20. It'll save you some money when you sign up for that. Here are some really cool black and white looks. I feel like that's the best thing that I can do for this photo, uh, mostly because there's not much going on here color wise, right? Mr. Waffles is a black dog and he's got white all in his muzzle and there's even a black and a white column, right? This is actually my water bottle and this is the leg to the desk that I am standing at. If I come over here and hover over these, we'll see which one of these black and whites uh, look the best. And I think I actually clicked that one. So now it's rendering it onto the photo, which thankfully it doesn't look bad, but it's not the one that I think I wanna go with. So we're gonna let this render through and then erase it. Okay, so that has now officially uh, been added on to the image and we don't really care for that. So I'm just going to hover over some of these other ones, not clicking them to get a preview. Now I like doing it this way. Uh, even though sometimes I'll use this little, uh, preview window and there's Mr. Waffles walking behind me. Sometimes I'll use this preview window to get an idea of which one I like, but today what I want to do, I'm just going to go ahead and close this. Today, what I want to do is just hover over it and get a larger preview, and I'm okay with this. Now, we're going to keep going through here to see which one of these presets I want to start with. And I think this one is the one that I want to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, let on one add this to the image because I got to get it onto the image before I can edit it. So. We'll let that happen. Okay, so now that that has loaded onto the image, we can go ahead and start to refine this a little bit. So I'm gonna actually click over here and give myself a little bit more real estate to kind of work on the image. So under effects, we have four effects that were added to this image with the preset and there's nothing in the local which is fine so we're going to come back over here to the effects and what i think I'm, I'm feeling is the photo is just a little too soft and i think that's coming from the glow so if i turn the yeah and it was coming from the glow so if i turn that off and on i could see that that's where that was coming from and all i'm going to do is just pull down the opacity of this a little bit because i don't want it to be like too much of a glow on here and then what i need to do is figure out how to open up some of these shadows with preserving the uh the highlights there and the best way to do that i think is with a tone enhancer so we're going to go ahead and grab a tone enhancer and i'm going to push the shadows with it and i got to push it a little pretty hard here it seems which is fine and then i'll bring down the blacks just so that way i'm retaining the black information in the image here which i think is important and in fact i'm going to come over to the black and white tool and i'm going to check the tone enhancer yeah it didn't do anything there just want to make sure that i'm not like muddying up the uh the the tonal range in here but the reason why i put my 
tone enhancer on its own layer to modify the shadows and the blacks is because I want to actually mask this into certain areas. And I think that's what's going to help kind of drive some contrast in this image. So what I'm going to do is click on the mask and I am going to invert the mask completely so that way it goes away. And then in the areas where I want to put it, I'm just going to uh, make a brush, 100% feather, 100% flow and opacity, and just paint in, in these areas where I wanted to kind of see that. And it's a subtle adjustment, but to me, I think it's gonna make a huge difference in the overall image. And I might even push the exposure on it just a little bit because you can see, like if I turn this off and on, you can see exactly where that is. And it's, you know, the burden of the knowledge that something was modified. But for me, I, I feel like that just works really, really well. So now we're going to jump over to local. I'm going to hit add adjustment and I actually have a brush. It's called Animal Eye Brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And this is the brush that I use, obviously, for the eyes of animals. So I'm going to grab my actual brush tool here. There we go. And I'm gonna paint this eye brush right over the eye of my dog and in black and white I feel like that's actually working really really well even though uh, it is probably more than I probably should put on there but I like what it's doing to the eye it's just building more contrast in the overall image but I'm gonna go ahead and drop the opacity so that way it kind of blends just a little bit better. Now I could sit here and you know fiddle with all of the tonal ranges and all that good stuff, but that's the beauty of having a brush that already does that for me. Now, obviously this isn't for a bird, but it is what it is, right? I'm gonna leave this alone, modify or collapse that. And so now what I'm seeing is I think I want to put a little bit more like texture into the fur of Mr. Waffles. And the way that I think I'm going to do that is with a grunge filter. All right. So we're going to go. I think I want to put that right above the dynamic contrast. So we'll hit add and then we're going to throw on a grunge filter. And this is going to impact the image drastically. Uh, but what I don't want to do is actually have this over uh, the entire image. So I'm going to modify this here in a second. So what I'm really looking at is the fur. And I think a little bit more brightness would work. And I'll really want to crank the detail yeah, you see how that's like just getting that fur to kind of stand out on its own just a little bit more. I like that. So let's come over here to the blend mode. And, you know, quick tip in the new release of 2024.5 point something, uh, we got these little menus, these little hamburger menus. Hopefully someday they're going to add in like a duplicate effect which would be amazing but that's neither here nor there what they do have in it right now is blending so if i click that it just selects the blending over here and what i want to do is look through to see if a blend mode is going to get me where i'm trying to go first before i start all of my masking because if i can just blend this in uh decently and it's usually not going to be one of those. It might be a luminosity, but I'm not even sure luminosity. Uh, luminosity is kind of hidden it, but I'm not sure if that's what I want. So I'm going to leave it at normal. And I'm going to invert this mask. So come over here to masking, invert 
so that way the grunge filter isn't everywhere and then again I'm just gonna click on the mask so it selects my brush tool I'm gonna go with a paint in option and I'm just going to paint this right over the fur and you can see that it's also darkening it which isn't necessarily what I want it to do but I'll allow it because I think it's going to really give the effect and the illusion that I'm going for in this image uh, because my focus is like right up here and I might even paint it into this area yeah I like the detail that it's given me so we'll go with that now what I will do now is bring my opacity down because I don't want it like crazy heavy in this area but I do want it a little bit and just paint it in there and you know I'm splitting hairs with the details that I'm adding in on this image I am aware of that but that's you know kind of the fun of editing photos so if I turn this off and turn it back on you can really see how it is creating a different look in the image so now I think I'm gonna do my final portion which I know that there's already a vignette on this photo, but what I want to do is really center the attention right here. The way that I do that is I use the masking bug and we already have the vignette selected and I'm going to put it like right outside of his eye and just pull this in and then I'm also going to rotate it because I feel like this just should go with the shape of his his muzzle his face and I might even bring it down just a bit yeah I think that this looks pretty good and I feel like I can on this one I can actually crank the um the vignette because there's like this strip of light that's kind of already in the photo and so it works quite well all right I don't know maybe maybe not but I like it so I'm going with it because it's my photo and so yeah I think that is probably everything that I would do to this photo so here is the before and here is the image after I've added in some edits to it and kind of gone where I did with it. So hopefully you found some value in this content. If you did, smash the like button. If you got questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, if you want to save some money whenever you shop at the On One store, consider using my coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20. It'll save you some money at checkout. I make a small commission at no extra cost to you, and it's a win-win for both of us. So until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.